I think that's another big differentiator here in the academy. You notice one thing Mike didn't do and we didn't do in the presentation is nobody came out and said, hey, we're going to show you how to become a millionaire in the next uh, year. We're going to show you how to make $30,000 a month in the next 90 days. Uh, we're going to show you how to buy your dream car in the next year. We, we didn't say any of those things. And it's not that those things aren't possible, but it's more so because we want to always strive to under promise and over deliver and also just be in alignment with truth as much as we possibly can a lot of times what people will do is they'll say whatever they can say to get you to pull out your credit card and buy the products and join the business and they don't really care so much about what is true and we're not we're not perfect in that i don't know that any one of us is perfect in in living in truth and speaking truth all the time but we strive for that and so one thing we don't don't do here all the time is we're not always talking about how much money Mike's making and, and Greg's making and Danny's making and, and look at all these people who are making all this money. Uh, we, 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 we don't do that so much. Now, that doesn't mean people aren't making money here. I feel like I'm living my dream life. I, I have freedom. I have money. I have time. I have flexibility. I can be with my family and I have achieved a lot of my big financial goals and dreams. I just don't want to rub them in everyone's faces all the time. And it seems like at least a good portion of the home business profession is about rubbing your success in other people's faces to get them to do what you want them to do. And that's not something that resonates with our hearts. And also, I don't think it's something that is conducive to building a residual income because a big part of freedom financially is building a residual income. So we had a realization a long time ago, and that is that if you want people to buy something and stay with something, there are a couple of things that need to be in place. One, you have to have products that actually provide value to people when they use them. You can't just have them there to make a commission because not everyone goes out and makes a big income in their first little bit of time. And so if that's true, why would someone stay if they're not making a big income yet? This was true for my journey. When I first got started in home business, I went my first year and didn't make any money. And then the next three years and didn't make much more. It took me four years to finally hit my first $3,000 monthly residual income. And then it just continued to catapult from there, partly because there's a phrase where people say success creates more success. And I think that's true. When you when you do get results, those results tend to compound and then your success just grows much, 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 much faster. But it didn't happen overnight for me. It took me a while. And so if that's true generally, now will there always be exceptions to the rule? Yeah, probably. We have people that come and right out of the gate, they go make a bunch of money. But those are usually the exceptions. I think generally, usually what happens is it's a process of growth. It's a process of transformation. It's a process of learning how to stay persistent. It's a process of learning how to have a dream that you care about, that you're not willing to quit on. And then you get tested and then you overcome the test. Then you get tested again. Then you overcome the test. Then you get tested again. Then you overcome the test. And while this is happening, you're growing on the inside. You're becoming more convicted in your dream. You're becoming more more convicted in where you stand and what you believe and what you're doing in life. And, and, and you just become like in cement there. And then as that happens, people feel that and then results increase. So all of that to say that if generally speaking, growing an income is a little bit of a growth process and we want to support people in that growth process, we know we got to have products that people love, number one. But then also number two, we have to provide a space where it feels comfortable and good for people to grow. And we didn't like other communities where it felt like anyone who wasn't making a bunch of money was less than and not important as the ones who were making a bunch of money. So in the HBA, we really have built a community and are going to continue to build a community where everyone's equal on a spiritual level, I guess you could say, on a personal level. I don't think I'm better than anyone here. Mike doesn't think he's better than anyone here. In fact, what we're all really doing is just trying to serve each other on this life journey and on this business journey in the best way possible and have fun doing it and grow and learn and champion each other's successes and lift each other up. And what I think we've done with that is we've created a space where we have a lot of people here who are 
on that growth journey, which all of us are, wherever we're at financially, we're all on that growth journey, but it feels good to be here because we're being supported and we're being lifted and we're not, you know, making each other feel bad about wherever we're at or wherever we're not at yet all the time. And, and that happens a lot. It's happened in probably every company I've ever been in before HBA. There's a phrase from Apple, I think it came, think differently. And HBA is thinking differently. When we started HBA, Mike and I, we just, we said, let's throw it all out. Let's pull out a white sheet of paper. And let's say, look, just because other companies we were a part of did it this way, is that the best way? And is there a better way we can do it? 